Hi, welcome to the Oliver Fetter YouTube channel. Today I am doing a quick bit of work towards mounting my 1.6 pump body on my 1.9 liter direct injection VW motor. For there's any other comments about 1.6 versus 1.9 pumps, I said 1.6 liter pump body, the internals are going to be very different when it comes to what's going on in this car. Now, what I worked out in one of my last videos is that the sprocket which mounts on the pump actually matches the rest of the timing components in the 1.9 liter exactly. So you can just use the 1.6 liter sprocket and the 1.6 liter pump pretty much almost exactly mounts right here. It fits this mounting plate, which is the 1.9 liter bracket, pretty much exactly, except for the fact that this circumference is off and there's an interference between the choke lever, or the low start, whatever you want to call it, lever, and the back of this bracket. So my update and one thing to modify today is that homie Josh printed me off a spacer I designed. It's a teeny bit looser than I was hoping for. You can see there's like probably a half millimeter of play or so in it. I wasn't sure how accurate the printer was gonna be. And that goes between the pump and over here, there's a little bit of play there, but together they work such that the pump now is actually set in relation to this plate, not just the bolt holes. So I can't quite test how this is working because the pump doesn't sit flush. So I'm gonna to start today by trimming the back of this cover and I've drawn some crappy lines on it that I'll show you here in one sec. So my approximate cutting instructions for myself are uh, this box right here. Now it might end up being a little bit more than that or a little bit less than that. I think I'm gonna try to leave this upper piece of metal in just for overall strength, but there's lots going on in this bracket. It looks very strong. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove probably this bigger box area. Off we go. Okay, cover has been cut. It's not my greatest cut job in the whole wide world, certainly not. But you might need to cut a little bit more. I got enough on the back side, 100%. Looks like that front side's still hitting. Honestly, I cut it too far this way altogether. We'll just cut a little more, no problem. Okay, so this is where I initially kind of overcut. There's plenty of room on this side of the pump and I kind of just ruined slash weak in the top of this bracket. But over here is where I just added this kind of quadrant here, which should actually give us enough room. And again, I'm not terribly concerned about overall strength. If it comes down to it and I really did mess this up, I can, you know, bolt a piece of steel to it or something like that. The other thing I probably should have thought about is that I'm not actually gonna use the cold start lever, so I probably should have just taken it off, but for the sake of this being 1.6 compatible, oh well. All right, that looks like we're gonna get our full range of timing motion now. I will bolt it up and show. Well, this bottom one is gonna be a huge pain in the arse to put in there. I should figure out a way to probably just glue the bolt to the pump or something like that. Or I could use, I don't think I have an extra, but I should use the OG pump fastener, right? That weird one that snakes in, that'll work fine. All right, so this is what I got now. Uh, I think the spacer is actually kind of fine the way it is. There's, well, you can see there's about that much play. So I might make one more revision of the spacer that's a little bit, makes this a little tighter of a fit in here. So there's less wiggle, but it does make the pump pivot very nicely. And we're going, currently, we're going stop to stop. That's uh, 
the full range of 1.6 timing motion. This back lever is clearing. I don't use it, but it clears now. I think the one more thing I need to do is I'm gonna notch right back here. You're not looking at it, but the back side of this bracket has a little fold over here. It needs a notch, because right now, there's no way to tighten this bolt because I can't get to it. So I'm gonna cut a little notch out of there and we'll be in good shape. My one other modification is I'll probably get slightly bigger fender washers. That's the whole reason for the washers is to hold in this spacer. But if I get slightly bigger fender washers, then that'll be no problem either. We are kind of hitting the dipstick tube, but I don't really see that being a problem. Here you can see my cutout. You can see how that lever is kind of what I was cutting around. It gets pretty close to things. But you can also see how I definitely cut too much out, like right here. But it now fits. And this hub spacer idea definitely works. I just need to make this tolerance a little bit better and I gotta use bigger fender washers and this 1.6 pump will be securely fastened at four points, no problem. Thank you so much for watching. This is uh, part 1.5 or two, two and a half, whatever you prefer. Part 1.5 of uh, how to mount a 1.6 pump body. It's been my new term. It's a pump body, it's not a pump. I'm not using a 1.6 pump. How to mount a 1.6 pump body to a 1.9 liter motor. And here we go, I mean, this is this would work. As it is, as it stands right now, this would work. But I'm gonna clean it up a little bit more, make it a little more bomber, and uh, this is, it's gonna work. <laughs> Thank you for watching.